the new truth sermon on the mount and seeing the multitudes he turned away sat in solitude and went into deep meditation and therein he saw and felt the self-evident realities revealed to him and then revealed them to all no one is blessed especially not the poor the sun the moon and the stars shine equally on all only the rich who have through their greed taken more than their share will tell you that they are blessed but they lie to protect their stolen goods no one is blessed the poor are poor because they have been robbed they need to rise up against the rich those who mourn are not blessed for they are not living in the present and miss every comfort that is given them in every moment. The meek will be crushed underfoot by the rich and powerful again and again, unless they take what is theirs and become themselves rich and powerful with their own inner joy of being alive in the world in the present moment. Those who yearn for righteousness are egocentric, misguided fools, since there is no right and no wrong. The rich and powerful would have you believe their way is the right way, but they are simply befuddled by the glitter of their ill-gotten treasures. The merciful will always be blind to their own egocentric presumption to give to others what they cannot give themselves. The pure in heart will be crushed by the force of nature. Only the wild at heart will know, see, feel, and be God themselves. The peacemakers will only bring war and division because they think they know what is best for others. Peace comes only to those who can take charge of and care for their own peace. Those who fight for right and wrong are truly misguided and false. They create hell on earth with their rules and guidance. They are the scum of the earth and deserve to be persecuted for daring to tell others how they should live. They will never know any heaven because they are too busy making rules to be able to see that the abundance of heaven is all around. No one is blessed for defending another. Every moment is atomic, independent, and completely non-sequential. Let all that is past be past. Don't bring the past into the present. Don't allow anything anyone has said to determine your spontaneous response in the present. There is nothing to hope for, nothing to pray for, nothing to long for. If you respond spontaneously from the core of your being in the present moment. Rejoice only in the present moment, for there is no heaven and no hell, no judgment and no sin. Everything you could have you have already. Use it now. Don't imagine some other time is better suited to your endeavors. You are the fruit of the earth. Your flavor depends on your willingness to dig deeply into your soul and make it productive and rich through your tilling. You are the light of the world because you dig deeply into your inner self and find there what is uniquely you. I think. I think so. Nothing which sits high on a hill can be unique for it. it will be corrupted by the looks of too many. Go deeply within and know yourself. Your inner light can only be found deep within you and can't be shared with anyone. 
Be wary of those who would share your uniqueness. The more you share, the more diluted will your worth be. Go deeper and deeper and know that no one is your father, mother, brother or sister. There is no heaven except that which you find deep within you, in the solitude of your own aloneness, which paradoxically will connect you to everyone and everything, but only within the inner recesses of your being. All laws are false and created to protect the rich and powerful who have always gained their wealth and power by robbing and enslaving the poor. All laws are made up to protect the interests of the lawmakers, that is, the rich and powerful. They have no bearing on the full scope of life that is available to you. Ignore the laws and the lawmakers. Those who enforce laws that others have made are nothing but bullies. Do not determine the present moment by the experiences of others who lived in other times and places. All laws seek to enslave you and keep you from knowing your true self, which is the only heaven that there is. Yearn for the heaven of your own inner guiding self only, for that is the only heaven and the only reward you will ever get. There is no kingdom and no heaven. Every person is the master of his own universe. Be, do, say, and create what you will, and heaven will be in the palm of your hand. Don't let anyone tell you how or what to be. There is no judgment. No one can or will judge anyone at any time. For judgment to occur, one would have to be superior to another, and all are individual, all are unique, and all are part of the one together. So fear not judgment, and fear not taking any action that may be needed. Nature kills all the time in order that new things may be born. Anger is an important cleansing process. Let out your anger. Cleanse your system. Do not repress it. Whatever you hold back, you will become. And in that, you create your own hell on earth. And that is the only hell there is. Have no altars, no worship, and no rituals, for these simply make you ignore the sacredness of the moment, which is full of the life of eternity. Have no fear of being angry and bitter, for these expressed will make you more able to see the pure beauty of the present moment. There is no price to pay, no karma, no retribution. All is working to help you to become what you will be, which you already are. Don't let anyone tell you that you are less than the full complement of the entire universe. No one owns anything. Be not fooled by the rich and powerful who would have you believe, if you left them, that they own the air that you breathe. Love is not permanent and changes with the wind. No one owns another person. If you should fall in love with someone, be glad and let it flow. Never disown the work of your own hand. Your hands are your very nature. They always work to glorify and empower you. Love your hands above all else, and make everything by your own hand. Prefer the work of your own hand to that of another's hand. Hell exists only for those who envy another's work. When the fire of love is spent, move on to another fire. Don't curse the fire that has gone out. 
There is no God, no personal God to pledge allegiance to, no country, and no corporation, no company, no group, and no family that deserves your loyalty. Be loyal only to the present moment and your spontaneous response to it. You have only yourself in the entire universe. There is no evil. Everything contributes to the whole. They judge as evil that which they have not explored within themselves and would have from someone else's inner wealth. Don't sacrifice yourself for any other. You will only come to resent that person. Rather, teach yourself how to be independent and teach all who would take up your time how to be independent and find their own way to their goals. If you have friends, you surely will have enemies. Indeed, your friends will sometimes become your enemies. Have no enemies and no friends. Simply be spontaneous in the moment. No allegiances and no loyalties will make you as free and appropriate as the wind and rain. Don't give alms. Help. Teach people to be independent and look after their own needs. There is no heaven and no rewards and no God exists to sit in judgment of you. Do not pray. For prayer presumes that you know better what ought to be than what is. Make use of everything fully that is in your reach and you will have no need of any prayer, hope, or longing for anything. There is no Father to protect you and no heaven to go to. You are completely alone in the universe. Your consciousness has evolved to this point where you can experience yourself fully alone in the whole universe. Enjoy the glorious feeling of being at one with everything in the universe, in all your actions. Your awareness in the present moment is the only thing you ever need. Nothing is coming to save you. There's nothing to forgive, since there are no sins. All things said to be sins are man-made reprisals against someone who has not given another what they wanted. There is no evil and nothing to feel tempted by. Do everything you feel when you feel it, and you will see that evil is a man-made idea to keep some from doing what others do in secret. No one owns anything. Be very clear about this. As long as you believe that anyone owns anything, you will never dare to do anything. What sane man can put up a fence and say he owns the flowers and the soil? Yet these are the very insane that would have you be their subjects if you let them. There is nothing to repent since there is no sin, and no repentance is ever possible given that every action is separate and unto itself without any connection to any other. Live as fully as you can and there will be nothing to regret or forgive or redo or ask anyone to forgive you. Don't fast. Fasting leads to hallucination. Life is rich. Take it all in. Be in life fully. There is no heaven to work towards. Heaven is in you. In your hands is the power to make your life rich or poor. Give yourself what you would have and you will be rich. Withhold from yourself what you want and you will be poor. All that is in you is the wealth of the universe manifesting itself. Do not reject any of it, rather embrace it all, and you will know the richness that is yours. You see what you are. 
Embrace everyone and everything. Don't reject anything and make it your oppressor. For that which you reject, you lose it. There is no father who will provide for you. You will have to use your hands to make yourself independent. Everything you want is inside you. You need only bring it out into the light to make it so. There is no one to judge you. No one is watching and grading you. You are free to do as you please. Only those who do not know their freedom will judge you to make you feel guilty for their lack of courage. Wave them farewell and move on. Your freedom cannot be taken away by those who do not have theirs. Ask, seek for nothing. Have no plans and ambitions. Simply live in the present moment and all will be revealed to you. There is no gate, the path is wide. And all paths lead to your inner self. All prophets, those who would teach you about yourself, are false. No one can lead you to yourself. Only solitude and hard work can reveal yourself to yourself. The tree and the fruit have no common ground and no similitude. Use each for their value and compare them not. There is no heaven, no God, no judgment day, no judge. Only the rich and powerful would have you believe so in order that they can keep you subservient and willing to do their bidding. Live your life by your own inner compass, not someone else's rules and failed experiences. Take no advice or directions from priests, politicians, teachers, family, or friends. For they would all rather see you in their shadow than in your own patch of sunlight. When he finished speaking, everyone dispersed to find themselves for he had freed their hearts and minds by letting them see that no one was responsible for them and no one would judge, save, persecute or cherish them except themselves and that they had nowhere to go, no heaven and no hell. Only in the present moment could all their treasures be fully realized.